hello friends in this uh, video i am uh, going to introduce about the aggregate node and aggregate node is basically we are uh, using for a splitting and aggregating uh, concept suppose uh, we have a bunch of the request we have a bulk request and uh, we have to split into the multiple requests and and these multiple request uh, will will send to the backend request uh, will call any uh, service or will send this uh, uh, request uh, to the uh, backend and backend will give us the response so we have to achieve here we have to after sending to the backend we have to collect all the response in a single reply and send to the consumer back so here we have a four, uh, four records in our xml employee information like first upender sai ravinder and satish fan out actually this is the beginning of the uh, request flow beginning of the message flows and aggregate control node we are just taking the two properties here aggregate name and timeout and uh, it will collect all the information here uh, local environment aggregation and timeout here he has given the timeout properties and in the compute node we are just taking the uh, uh, one one request and sending to the backend this is the propagate to terminal out we are just taking one employee creating the request and uh, sending to the backend backend in the sense we are just uh, sending we are assuming that uh, this queue will send the uh, this multiple request one by one to the backend maybe uh, this is a one destination maybe a multiple destination uh, we can have in the real time so after sending to the multiple destination our task is to aggregate all those responses and bind into the single response and send to the consumer so we have in q1 and we are sending to the out queue out queue basically is a backend we will assume it is a backend uh, request backend uh, request and uh, backend will give us the response in which queue backend will give us the response in out aggregate request will contains actually it will generate a folder for each and every request which is sending to the backend actually it will keep record all those uh, requests with the message id and aggregate request help to the fan in request this aggregate reply uh, to generate uh, uh, to generate a single response by collecting all those uh, responses from the backend here we are using this out queue what we have taken in this mq output node here in the request out so this is a simple request reply suppose this is our backend service backend can be anything uh, maybe a web service but here we are just taking queue based any backend service so mq reply what will do it will take uh, it will create a new message id and copy the uh, 
message ID into the correlation ID and generate a new message ID and send the response to the originator of the queue originator of the message request who is the originator MQ output MQ output is the originator but once it will read we have to reply to the out queue so MQ output will send the response to this out queue and out queue will send all the uh, responses to the aggregate reply after collecting all the response aggregate will reply will send uh, uh, all those replies to the compute node in this compute node we have written the code it will come uh, will pass uh, propagate the same properties and uh, whatever we will receive from the input here we are generating the output like output root dot xml dot com ibm aggregate reply body yeah firstly we have to read actually aggregate uh, reply node will send all the responses in this format input root dot inside com ibm aggregate reply body and we'll read the next we will read the folder actually this is nothing but a folder it will read the folder folder from where it will read the folder from the fan out message flow this is the request folder it will read this folder so we will read one by one folder and create the response one by one from each folder we will just take we will take a reply identifier to identify a particular uh, particular uh, response of a request and we are setting like this in the same folder we are setting reply identifier and person information let's execute it so we will understand better so as uh, we already know this is our fan out of uh, uh, request fan out of uh, the message flows that is the beginning of the request message from the RFH util once we pass we have to observe this is MQMD inside the person all employees information is there name pender sign like that aggregate control will have a aggregate uh, name aggregate control it will generate a one ID in the local environment after passing from this node observe here in the local environment the com IBM aggregate control node aggregate control node and ID is present so it will now this compute node will pass one by one request to this MQ output backend what uh, which uh, we are just considering it as a backend backend will res uh, response the same as a reply same request as a response by creating a new message ID and copy the old, uh, old message ID into the correlation ID here see this is the aggregate id will be all, uh, same it will not change for any request but after mq output it will create a one uh, id in the environment see in the local environment it is created return destination 
destination data q name c for the first message request message it is created this message id is created and after aggregate request once first message passed to the aggregate request in the environment it will create one folder inside the uh, aggregate control see request folder this is the message id of the first request same like for another four request will pass see one by one all the folder is creating in the environment inside aggregate control now we have received the these all this uh, response one by one with the same correlation id as a correlation id c this is the first request message response and aggregate reply will collect all those response and after collecting it will propagate uh, these response to the mq output This is not uh, propagating because it is timeout. Let's uh, process it uh, quickly again to observe the response. Now we, it is collecting response. It is propagated to the compute node inside uh, so we have collected all the responses inside the uh, com ibm aggregate reply body in the request folder see so our task is to read all the responses from the request folder and bind it into the single response and send to the client means mq output out q2 we will send all bind response into the out q2 See here. This is the ID reply, reply identifier, and that employee information. So uh, we are reading from com IB, ibm aggregate reply body and this is nothing but a, this is request folder we are reading from here and in the same request folder we are uh, setting as an output including reply identifier and employee information That's all about uh, aggregate uh, reply and control node and aggregate request node. So whenever we'll use the aggregate concept, we have to uh, use uh, these nodes uh, in the combination. Please uh, like our TechMart channel and uh, click on the bell icon. Thank you.